Good morning, everybody. This is your Dow Jones day trade setups for today. So, yep, we've had a bounce off structure, and I think uh, what's happening on all the index indexes at the moment is we are trying to find support in a strong area of weekly support. So um, it's pretty much the same scenario as what's happened on the S&P and the DAX. If you look back here to 2021, this was a strong zone of support. We tested it once in 2022, and then we've never really, we attempted here to test it, but that failed and came back below it. So we haven't really tested it properly and had a decent rejection off this um, zone here. And that is at 33,500, and the bottom end of it is 33,278. So this is turning out to be what could be a flag, a messy flag on the Dow, but upward trend nevertheless on the weekly, pull back to find some some structure on the breakouts. And there was a breakout here, pull back now. And we've got earnings season coming up on us. Uh, there's a lot of confusing information in the market. Lots of data that's pointing to uh, no recession. Lots of data that's pointing to a recession. Uh, bond markets all over the place. Gold's doing all sorts of weird things. So all the normal indicators where uh, you know we would normally take our lead from, if you were a trading off the data is um, confusing so that's why you're getting so much noise in the market so many people oh we're going to crash and we're going to zero and then other people you know are extremely bullish and then you've got people that are neutral so you know for us mere mortals uh, that are retail traders uh, the easiest way to eliminate all that noise is just to watch what price is doing. So you can see here, we've got a, a pin bar inside bar with follow through here off structure. We are in a downward trend, granted. Uh, the next bit of structure for us to the upside is there. And uh, you'll see something now on the three eyes. I want to put this other swing high in, or swing low rather. And uh, we'll talk through those now. So. From a three hour perspective, look at my oscillators. I've got reverse diversions forming. I've got uh, what looks like a flag. I've got tail to the upside, tail to the downside. I've got confusion. Uh, could be support here. Could be looking for rejection here. Still a downward trend, very strong downward trend. Um, however, we have broken a trend line. And I'm just going to put this in and then we're going to take it out. There's my trend line. I highlighted this yesterday. We were hovering around here. And then we broke up and then kind of, if you just look at yesterday's price action here, lots of tails, lots of barbed wire, lots of confusion. So let's just get that. So that is the one thing you need to just keep in the back of your mind. You have broken some structure. Now when we get to the hour, we in amongst moving averages, moving averages are together. They have crossed over. Nothing really else that has gone on yesterday. Uh, Sideways, lots of tails, lots of confusion. So not as decent uh, indication of what's going to happen as what is going on on the S&P 500. But you need to take your lead from that and the NASDAQ if you watch it as well. Because uh, the US markets tend to move together. Even if one of them lags, if, uh, can lag up to a month. Uh, but it eventually catches up to the other markets. Right, so clear range yesterday, right? absolute clear range uh, but look here we've been in a clear downtrend a very strong downtrend for a number of days and now we've sort of above and below the moving averages like this so that is typical of a bottoming pattern and uh, rounding bottom if I come back to the hour you can see rounding bottom okay strong downtrend really strong downtrend so you know V reversals are rare so in other words, you don't typically find it and then shoot back up. It typically does this kind of thing. Um, so once you above, in in my eyes, it's going to be all the way up here, uh, 34031. That's for today. Uh, tomorrow, oh, sorry, on Monday, it'd probably be a different picture because price would have moved closer to the 155, and then that line in the sand will become lower for where the longs come in. Um, so. I'm very wary of shorts because of what we're seeing. It does look like a, a bottoming pattern that is forming. It's not complete yet, and it's not confirmed. So uh, this one, to me, is really a sit on hands because there's nothing nothing you want to do in a range. And you can see the moving averages are flat as well, and it's on the 15 minutes. So 
really nothing brewing here but if we do break above 33,800 I'd want to see price come back and find support at any of these tails inside this range from yesterday. Um, if we get inside bars, engulfing bars or pin bars on that support, then definitely an opportunity to the upside. And your first target is going to be 34,033. Sorry, 34,031. Uh, moves to the downside, I'm not really interested in. I don't think that is the wise decision at the moment. I think this um, pullback is starting to fizzle out okay so yeah i think to be quite honest the s p 500 has got a better setup the dax has got a better setup so focus on those two rather than trying to force a trade here on the dow jones this may just stay in this range as well for for this uh remainder of this week and i just want to close off on the weekly because that is the pin bar that we are trying to form when i say we the bulls so the bulls are trying to form a pin bar, trying to indicate that everything's fine. We can buy stocks now, um, but it is messy. Just keep that in the back of your mind. So everything hinges on where we close today. Um, if we close higher up, in other words, we close above 33,800, then we're going to have a nice juicy pin bar off decent structure. And then this line in the sand, which is atop the weekly bar, which is 34,031, becomes very relevant because the minute we start getting up above that and testing this on the lower time frames that starts to validate this pin bar and then you'd want another weekly close higher up and then that validation is in then we're looking for a continuation to the upside and then this flag should play out but anyway that's going to take a couple of uh, weeks to play out so for me clear range at the moment uh, don't bother getting yourself involved in this uh, rather go and look at the S&P 500. There's much better structure there. Anyway, hope it helps. If it does, drop us a thumbs up and uh, we will catch up with you on Monday morning. So enjoy your weekend.